just a guitar demo. You can see the R and Jump in the back on there. There, I'm going to point opposite. That's what I'll be using for the demo. It's the Greco EG550. Beautiful, natural finish guitar. Um, just make sure I can see it probably. Nice high gloss finish, high end gloss finish. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's nitro cellulose, but it looks like it compared to some other Les Pauls that I've got. Um, body is, there's hardly a mark on it. One or two, maybe tiny little dings, but you can see the condition there is outstanding. Um, the pickups had some rust and remnants of black paint on them. I've stripped that back uh, using high grade, um, it's not sandpaper, it's silicon paper, uh, to file that back and reveal a nice gold sort of coloured hardware that's underneath. Um, that sits under the nice Maxon pickups, which I think are Maxon humbuckers. I'm, I'm not a pickup expert, but they're definitely Maxons, and they're the stock ones. Standard bridge and tailpiece. I believe these are the original um, knobs, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's a replacement selector switch. All of the components have been serviced, so the selector switch the pots have had um, contact spray lubricant put onto them. Fiddle around a lot and no clicks, no crackles, no grinding when they move. They all move nice and freely. The neck is nice and straight. It's a really lovely looking maple neck, which is very rare on these guitars. Um, it is slightly gloss finished. It's slightly narrower than some of those poles, but it's really fast. Really comfortable. Headstock's gorgeous. It's got nice mother of pearl inlay on it, which you can see. And the early 70s Greco logo that looks like Gnecco. Also looks a bit like uh, if you hold it from a distance. Back of the headstock, nice and clean again. A little bit of wear on one bit. Um, stock tuners, which are, you find these on a lot of Greco guitars. They're nice and heavy duty. I've taken them off completely and cleaned them top to bottom inside out with high grade wire wool. So they are lovely and shiny. So that's machine heads and tuners. It's been re-strung with a standard set of early ball uh, slinkies. Um, I haven't lubed the strings yet, but I will do that before it goes. It's a contoured body with a bolt on neck. Now the contour, some people get a bit funny, a bit snooty because they're always not a nice pile, but it's comfortable. It doesn't dig into your hip or your ribs when you're playing it. I think it's semi-chambered. It's still heavy, but it doesn't have the full weight of a Les Paul. Um, so what have I shown you? Back, again, excellent condition. A couple of dings, so it's had a knock, but you know, it's 45 years old or thereabouts. It hasn't really got buckle rash on it which you can see there, so I'm guessing it was a, a, a guitar that wasn't gigged. Um, bolt on neck, don't let that fool you. Yes, it means it's the slightly cheaper, for want of a better word, model. Don't know, the dog's scratching at the door. Um, doesn't really affect the sustain at all, it still sustains like a beauty. So I'm not into this, it's not a, it's not a glued on neck kind of snobbery. Back of the neck's got a few little things, but not much. So overall, the guitar's in outstanding condition for its age. That's enough of me waffling, because I've done nearly five minutes of just talk and showing you around. I'll plug it in now. Okay, so I'll give you a demo. You can, as I said, you see the orange amp. It's a tiny terror, more of a rock amp, but I'll do what I can to give you a clean sound by just turning the gain down. Um, if I move it at the right position, you can see the noise is actually coming from this guitar. So this is the gain. At quarter to nine, with the volume up to compensate, I'm just going to noodle around a bit. I'm not, it's not a guitar lesson because I'm not that good. This is the bridge pickup, uh, neck pickup. Sorry. <laughs>
nice warm sound on that neck pickup. Occasionally a little bit of buzz on one or two frets, but that's a bit of a trade-off with the, the action being low. I've kind of set it up how I like it. That's a quick demo on clean on the, the neck pickup. We'll go to both pickups. Thank <laughs> you. 
bridge pickup and well, both pickups. <laughs> And screen. I mean, just to show you it again, right up. I don't know whether you play it on this, anybody, but. <laughs> of nice sounds so whatever your style if you want to be playing lounge jazz blues more sort of pop stuff if you're more into rock music whatever you know it's a less probably don't need any time um but lovely i say this with all of them because every time i work on a guitar like this i, I get a little bit gooey about them um i would love to keep it but i've got a few so it needs to go um, it's listed at a, what I think is a very reasonable price for the rarity of the item. I've done all the aggro, I've, brought, I've bought it in from Japan, I've paid the taxes, I've cleaned and fixed, I've sorted out a couple of problems with it, I've serviced it in my enthusiast, non-professional way, cleaned it up, polished it, I've put a good couple of days work into it at least, but I would like to see it go to a good home, someone that's going to get nice use out of it, look after it, and that's it so if you want any more information 
Um, you can go to my Facebook and look up Mike's Music Shack. Music Shack. I'll put a little ditty on the video if I get time. The Facebook, uh, the eBay page is there as well. Um, there's a little bit of leeway on the asking price, not a huge amount, so please don't like, offer me half what it's hoped for. Long part. Um, and that's it. Hope the video was okay. Um, right, any more, you need any more info, just, just give me a shout, and I'm, I'm more than happy to, to try and help in any way possible, you know, within limits. Like. All right, thank you. Bye.